what do you hate most about Gainesville? All right, guys, super excited because we've got my beautiful wife, Katie, back again. And I've received a ton of questions from you guys after watching some of these videos who are thinking about moving to Gainesville. Honestly, as a real estate professional, some of those questions I cannot answer when it comes to safety and religion and schools and all of those sort of things. So I wanted to bring in uh, someone who's local, native to Gainesville, who could help shed some light and maybe provide another perspective on some of those questions. So we'll jump right in. You ready? Ready. All right, so the first question, probably one of the most question, common questions I get is, is Gainesville a safe area? If someone were moving to Gainesville and asked you that question, how would you respond? I would say from my personal experiences that overall Gainesville is a very safe area. Are we immune to crime? Absolutely not. Bad things still happen. Uh, but generally it's a very family friendly city and you know, there's not a lot of terrible things that happen and um, and I think a lot of the communities feel safe people feel safe going out and going to different places without uh, a huge fear now obviously depending on where you live where you've been raised everyone's gonna have a different experience so if that's a question that you're concerned with I would say definitely do your research you got to ask more than one person look at more than one resource really dig into the information because there's gonna be a wide variety of answers when it comes to safety all right so next question we had on the list would be what do you dislike most about Gainesville dislike I would say probably the lack of seasons can be challenging it's you know I don't want to complain about our beautiful sunny days uh, I definitely wouldn't want to trade them for snow shoveling you know constantly uh, but definitely having a variety of seasons and the flow where leaves fall you know it seems like here that we uh, we go from uh, a leaves just falling off the trees and it's just freezing cold to oh look it's 90 degrees again so definitely some variety would be nice as uh, an example off of that we're at the end of january right now a couple of days ago it was in the mid 30s and now it is what about 80 85 degrees so um and that's our winter right <laughs> so we don't have much of the seasons that's for sure so the next question on the list is what is it like raising a family here in gainesville that's a good one. It's definitely um, it's definitely a great area to raise a family. There's lots of kids activities. We have uh, numerous sports groups uh, for kids activities and sports. We have several museums and things to do. Our parks are fantastic for, for outside play. And of course, with this kind of weather, you can almost always go outside and play. Um, so it's definitely very uh, family focused in this community. So like Katie mentioned, there is just a lot of different things going on, a lot of things to do. We've got three young boys who are very active in sports and they seems like there's always another season, something else to sign them up for. So there's tons of activities and things to stay busy with if that's what you're looking for as a family. All right, so the next question I've got on the list is one that I can uh, shed a little bit of light on and one question that honestly, it comes up a lot and it's about the job market in Gainesville. Gainesville is a relatively small town, so I do have a lot of people who reach out and they're curious, are there any jobs? What does the opportunity look like in Gainesville for some of the businesses? Now, obviously we do have, you know, Shands Hospital, University of Florida, some other big institutions here in Gainesville that employ a lot of people. But one of probably the biggest growing sectors is actually out in Alachua between tech and pharmaceuticals. So there are a lot of opportunities in Gainesville and it really ranges and depends on what you're looking for and what your background is. So real quick, we're covering a lot of different topics and questions that I've received from different people. But I'm curious if you're watching this video, what specific questions do you have about Gainesville? Down in the comments, let me know what questions you have about Gainesville and what would you like to know more about? All right, so next, what are some of your favorite things to do outside of Gainesville? Well, the nice thing about Gainesville is that it's pretty much two hours away from just about everything between the beaches, which are amazing and fun to go to, uh, between the Gulf where you and Crystal River and Homosassa Springs where you can go visit the manatees, uh, and then of course Orlando and everything that Orlando has to offer. Um, if you're looking for shopping, going north up to Jacksonville is great. Um, and so there's just so much to do within kind of a short drive. 
Yeah, I would say in that two to three hour range, you can hit oh, uh, so many different activities and attractions. Obviously we enjoy going over to Crescent Beach and St. Augustine area is where we'll spend a lot of the time during the summer. Um, but then even going to some of the professional sporting events, whether it's a Jaguar football game um, or baseball, whatever it may be, like, I, like Katie said, in that two-ish hour range, you can see so many different things and experience a ton that the state of Florida has to offer. And to add to that too, one thing I, I left out that our family loves to do is uh, visiting the springs, which are much less than two hours away, a good 30 minutes right outside of Gainesville. And to go tubing, you know, it may not be for everybody. Uh, I definitely have my reservations at times uh, with different wildlife uh, nearby, but it's definitely a fun experience and the kids absolutely love it. So another question that I get on almost a weekly basis are what are some of the options outside of Gainesville? A lot of people are going to relocate for work and they're gonna be working in Gainesville, but they don't necessarily wanna live in town. So kind of curious, what are some of your thoughts about some of the small towns outside of Gainesville? I have a lot of friends that live in a variety of the cities right outside of Gainesville and they love them. They really have that small town charm because they're typically one street kind of downtown areas but you know you kind of get to know your neighbor you get to know you, people around you and it just it gives it a, a nice feel for community um, there are some towns that are great here that have kind of grown but not in a city of Gainesville kind of way they've grown um, slowly and over time um, High Springs Archer they're great uh, city of Newberry has has really kind of expanded lately to even bring in a couple little restaurants and some cute businesses um, and so sometimes you don't even have to go into Gainesville, which might be nice for you. Also on that short list, if you're interested in some of those towns, make sure you're checking out Alachua. There has been a ton of growth in that area and where it is really one place where you could live and not need to come into Gainesville at all unless it's for work. Um, one of the other benefits to living outside of Gainesville is also the expenses will be lower, whether it's the home price, the taxes, the utilities, cost of living outside of Gainesville does drop off a bit. So there's lots of good options to check out if you're considering that. So now that you know a little bit more about Gainesville and what it's like to actually live here, the next video you're gonna wanna watch is this one where we sit down and share with you exactly what you can expect, the pros and the cons to living in Gainesville, Florida.